to... Hi, hi, I'm Luke Smith. And I'm Chaz Doyle. A dust bunny has recently escaped from the Connecticut Penitentiary. Use caution, do not go outside. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I have it on camera. <laughs> what do you want me to say? We didn't go over that. Oh, I thought you just wanted me to stand in front so you could show me I think what a close-up looked like. We could make a video about nothing. As long as we add a Definitely. song in transition. You know what? I got to be a background voice. I just saw this dust bunny and it scared the living out of me. I swear to God. It crawled right under here. It was, it was the scariest thing I've ever seen. It had fangs and it... Oh, I didn't like it, okay? I have been studying dust bunnies for... 25 years now. I mastered in dust bunnies at Harvard, and this seems like a serious problem. After viewing the witness footage, I'm shocked. So I'm sitting at a table. It's a good idea. Right. Let us talk over okay, the right, Okay, okay, okay. Right. Well, I need cue so I can drop it. We're just, just. It's rolling. You're gonna have to wing it. Alright. Where could this dust bunny be? I have no idea. We have anywhere. to find this dust bunny. I have no idea where it can be. The witness didn't even see it. Unbelievable. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Where could this dust bunny be? I have no idea. We have to find this dust bunny. The witness didn't even get a shot of it. <laughs> Yo, come on! It's sorry. It's where could this dust bunny be? I have no idea. The witness didn't even see it. I know. We have to find this dust bunny before anyone gets hurt. It's frightening. It's fair. He, he fucking... <laughs> <laughs> he was cracking up. It's not my fault. Where's the dust bunny? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's hanging from the ceiling, waiting. <laughs> Alright. Totally serious. Alright. Still rolling? We'll edit it later. Alright. Go. Where could the dust bunny be? I have no idea. The witness didn't even see it. I know. We have to find this dust bunny before someone else gets hurt. It's frightening. Spit. Maybe if you hung the camera. <laughs> this just in. Frightening footage from... <laughs> As my co-anchor says, this just in. Frightening footage of two young adults looking for the dust bunny. So earlier today on Broad Street, there was a firefighter. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> there was a firefighter. There was a firefighter. Hey, so, standing out okay. Okay. Shh, shh. so earlier today on Broad Street, there was a fire. No one was injured. This just in, breaking news. The dust bunny has been captured just outside the studio. We're on it now. Very interesting. Two, one. Hello, I'm Ruben, and we're here live at a crime scene while people are looking for a dust bunny. We have the whole crew. No luck yet. I lost a family member to the dust bunny. It hurts. My soul aches. I vowed that I would protect the community from the dust bunny. I spend every hour, every day, looking for this dust bunny. And I will not stop until I find it. The conversation works. So does Paul ask us out of there. really is. It's actually going to hear us talking now, so maybe we should know what we're going to be saying. Yeah. Alright, so... Suck your teeth again. We're, we're going to be like, so... That turns me on. Um, 
We should be talking about how something needs to be done. Look at this. It's like something no, needs no, no, to be done. Something needs to be done. You have to look at these numbers. I mean, it's recording. this is insane. I mean, it's right here in the middle. Why are you recording? How's it going, man? This is insane. Have you seen these numbers? Unbelievable. No. I mean, it's just right here in front of us on paper. It's off the scale, and what makes it worse is Jesus. that's Jesus Christ. God help us. Oh my God. These <laughs> dust numbers are way above. They're off the charts. It's definitely become a safety issue. Mm -hmm. Old people should stay in their homes. Yeah. So should you. Kids should stay in uh, too. People have asthma should stay away from places that haven't been dusted in months. Females too. Alright, cut, play this. Action! Go! Oh. Are you alright? Yeah, help! Oh. No. <laughs> Action! I didn't even try to actually ran a wall and laid down. Help me. There's no time. No. Sorry. <laughs> what happened, man? What happened to Taylor? Where's Taylor? Oh, God. Thank God. Thank God. Action. I'm okay. What happened to Taylor? Go now. Stop right there, stop right here. <gasps> Taylor! Taylor! Action. Taylor! Taylor! Are you alright? Are you hurt? Please, please help me. No. We're coming down. No. <gasps> Taylor! 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 Taylor. We have to save him. Dude, he's gone. Dude, no. Chess, he's gone. We gotta get out of here. Good afternoon. This is Ruben reporting live from the Science and Technology Magnet High School. There was a dust bunny on the loose, and he has already claimed one victim. On the other hand, there are two escapees who are fleeing from this dust bunny. Let's see where this takes us. Good afternoon. My name is Ruben, reporting to you live from the Channel 6 News. Our main story tonight is about the Science and Technology Magnet High School, which has been evacuated because of a dust bunny attack. And it's already claimed the life of one young man named Taylor Sapienti. On the other hand, there are two escapees, Chaz Doyle and Luke Smith, on the run in a helicopter. We will now go to Saida live outside. This is Saida reporting live in front of the STMHS school. <laughs> this is Saida reporting live in front of the Science and Technology Magnet High School. We just got information that the building is being evacuated. As you can see, there are people running everywhere. Yeah. Bye! Shit, you know what I'm saying? Hold on. Now, see, I don't know how to do it. We should... 